hello friends welcome to my youtube channel today i'm going to create a test app with appsheet no code platform using google sheet as my data source so this is a very simple app i'm going to show you so let's start so basically here i'm going to first create a google sheet where i will have two sheets one sheet that has all the questions that i need to ask and the second sheet to take the test survey so let me show you the columns i have used in my question table so here you can see i have one id column second is the subject column so i have total five subjects and i'm just mentioned the maximum marks for each subject and here you can see i have five columns question one question two question three question four and question five so each questions column has five different questions for each subject you can see I have five questions each so this is what I'm going to ask from my students so this is a very helpful app you can use in a small class test or where you have bunch of people to take survey of question test so this is my table question table now I'm going to show you my test survey table where I will be recording the answer given by all the students or the user of the app. Now here I have used an ID column date and time which will record my current time when the survey was given. Email column is it will I'm going to save the email of the user here. Subject is what I will show you I will change this I will use a ref column for this subject and answer here is the points for answer 1, answer 2, answer 3, answer 4, answer 5 and the points for each answers. Now let's go ahead and create an app sheet app. So I'm going to open a new window here. Now you can see the sheet name is text exercise. So let's create a new app. Open. Start with existing data. Now I will name test app. It's a very useful app so I will suggest you to check the video till end and you will be able to create a simple survey app. So this is the sheet text exercise that I need to connect. Now it's taking a moment to load so let's see. Okay it's almost done I can see in the background so here app is loading. So our app is ready now and if you go to the data you can see i have test record which is my survey table and i have to add here you can add the question table as well i'm not going to show this table to the user we can hide it we can hide using different expressions but for now i'm going to show you just for the basic knowledge as you can see in the view i have only one view and i'm going to use a table view that looks good now let's add another view this view is for our test record the test record one and i'm going to create another which will be our questions now let's select the table here questions and let's select table view so we can see here is the questions for each subject that i have mentioned in my google sheet so this is the questions and if you want you can open these and you can see these are the questions I have now this is the test record okay I'm going to use this as a menu view so we don't see it over here at bottom of our screen now let's hit save now I'm going to open the test record so we have no data here now I'm going to just show you the form view how it looks like you can see we have ID column date and time email subject answer one points the same column that we have here in our Google Sheet. Now we need to add some expressions so we can make this app usable. So let's go to the table. First we need to define some expression in the column so we don't need to enter the value. So here date and time I will be using date and time column and I'll use an expression here now that will record date and time the current date and time. Now next is email. I can use user email formula that will automatically bring the user email 
of the logged in user now this is the subject so here I'm going to show you what I'm going to do here I'm going to change it as ref so this will be our ref column that will be referencing to the questions table so this is the ref column I have created now it's done and once you create any ref column I will suggest you to go to the reference table questions and check what is your label column because that is what you're going to see in the drop down list the label value it will store the key value of the table but it will show you the label so I'm going to change it from ID to subject so you can see the label value is changed although it will record the ID value in our database but it will show you the label value so here are the subjects now let's change some column structure so we can make this app usable now for now I'm going to hide these points column so points 1, point 2, point 3, point 4 and point 5 I have hidden all those columns so we can only see these columns here and now as this is a ref column as you know let me save this here first I'm going to show you what I'll be using display name to change my column name now you can see this is the test form uh, once you click plus this is the test form test form sorry now before I do anything let me go ahead and change the column order so let's I'm just going to change the column order so the app looks good and uh, we just need the subject column which is already here I don't need this all columns don't need ID don't need date and time it will be automatically recorded email column and then we need three more answer three answer four and answer five so now it's looking good now you can see this is the form I have created now the subject is our ref column now once you hit subject and select any column it's not doing any changes here but now I'm going to show you I'm going to use an expression in our server table in the answer field so this column name will be changed as I'm going to use DREF expression here so subject is our ref column and as this is question one sorry it's answer one so I'm going to select question one here because we are going to give question one this is the reference so this will what this will do as this is our ref column once you select any subject it will pick up the ID column of the subject suppose I selected mathematics here now mathematics if you go to our Google sheet mathematics this is what you are getting in the ref column but it will store value 1 in that field I'm just talking about the back end side so this will store one and then it will refer to the column we are pointing here so you can see one dot question one so if you go to the table one and then question one which is this one so it will bring this value I'm going to show you how also I'm going to add this on all the column so it will automatically change the name so this is our question one let me change this is our question two here I'm just going to change the questions here this is question two this is question three now next is question four and next will be question five so I have modified all the columns display name now let me save the changes here and we can add much more functionalities based on your requirement now let me show you here now we are getting this value we can hide this based on the expression I can put some expression to hide these columns until we select this value so let me go and select one subject here so once I select mathematics you can see all the columns theme is automatically changed with our questions now I'm going to show you another one let's science 
So you can see the question is changing automatically. Let's select English. It will change again. So this is how the reference it's calling its value based on the formula we have given in the display name. So this is a very easy way that you can take some exercise from your students based on different subjects. The question will automatically change. And now I'm going to show you how it works. Like you can select mathematics, we can give any answer. We can also create something like it will automatically check the answer and will give you the result. I've already done that app, but it's advanced level. So if you need, you can text me and I will create that app again so this is the value I'm getting you can see these are the values we have entered now if you check in your Google sheet the test survey you can see this is the user who has given the app test exercise this is the time this is our reference column as I told you it stores the key value instead of mathematics it saved one which is the key value now this is the answer I have given. This is second answer. This is third, fourth and fifth. Now you can give points here. And the reason I have hidden this because I'm going to create another view here. So this will be our teacher view. So this is the teacher view of the same table test record because this is where the teacher will be checking the result. So this is the test teacher. Now, if you open this record, you will see the values here. Now, what I want here is I want to give numbers here to the users. So what I will do, I'm going to add a condition here. So let me first save this so I can show you. So basically, I've created one more view that is teacher view where you will see all the records. Now, if you open, this is the questions you can see. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this form view. Okay. And I'm going to put some expressions in my points column like uh, points one. What I want here is I only want this to be shown in test form, not in any other form, only in the test form. So we can use context view, view that is equal to test record form. So this column will only appear in this test record form. We need to modify this expression we have to create one more form let's better create one more form here and we can implement that but I'm just going to show you instead of this teacher detail view I'm going to create this as a form view here so I can show you all the columns and I can show you what exactly I was talking about so this is the view form view I have okay let's save this so I've created one form view for the teacher and the reason I did and you can see all columns are hidden here and I'm going to use the expressions now so use this and again let's change this I need this is our form name so what I'm going to do is this column will be only shown when we use the teacher form view for all points I'm going to use this the same formula that will only show the points column in the teacher view we can even put an expression like user email is equal to admin so only the admin can see this point column and can provide the answer sorry the points to the given answers to the agent sorry to the employees or the students will be giving the answer now we are here in the test form now I'm going to show you one of the record if you see here this is our form view now if you go to any detail you can see here is the record now I'm going to edit it this is the question form 
Now we have to open the So here I have done something wrong. What I did here is it will only appear in the teacher form, but in the teacher form, I'm not seeing a record here. So I will have to change this because I am not able to show you any, or you can see here, like I've given the questions and the admin can answer. Whatever answer, if you did the record in the form view, you will see the answer here. You can give the point. So this is how you can create. But if you need, if you want me to create the complete app, you can text me or you can email me. I will provide you the email in the description. So for now, this is how you can build the app. And thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you like this video. If you have any questions, just keep commenting me and put your questions in the comments and I will try my best to answer you. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you like it and please share this video and I will upload more. Thank you very much.